In this movie, we're going to cover modify an existing report to suit your needs. Specifically, we're going to talk about what you can do with groups of an existing report. I've thrown together a simple report called Modification Report 1. If you'd like to follow along, go ahead and download this support file. The report is a simple report. We're looking at the database expert. We chose the Revenue Transaction table linked to the Office table via Site and Office Num. That gives us a simple list and I decided to group it by year and by office name. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on the Design tab. There are many ways to modify the groups. If you wish to keep the groups you have, you can choose to change the order of them by clicking and holding down your mouse and dragging the group where you want it to be. As we can see, now we see office name first followed by year. We look at the preview that's what we get. If you ever make a mistake as well, simple control Z or go to the file menu and undo and you can undo what you did. From here we can even change the group as opposed to office name. I can go up to my change group and choose from any field from my tables that I've chosen. I could choose division instead and press OK. Once I hit preview instead of Charlotte I see East. Let's go ahead and suppress the details so we can see the effects of our groups better. Right click in the details section and choose suppress from the click menu. Going back to our design view, let's click on group header 1 and change that group. As we've covered slightly before, dates have special functions within groups that come as automatic drop downs in Crystal. You can choose to display dates for each day, for each week, two weeks, half month, month, quarter, whatever you see fit. You can even get down to the second minute hour, especially if you have a date time. We'll leave it as each year. You can also choose to change the order completely and choose a specified order. In this case we're going to leave it alone. From here we can insert groups as well. We're going to insert office name this time. Notice how it puts it here. I'm going to go ahead and line this up with my group 2 name and then I'm going to right click on this field which is the sum of the revenue transaction amount at the group 2 level and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to right click right below and I'm going to paste it right here. Now Crystal knows instead of displaying the summary for group 2 it's now going to display the summary for group 3 because that's where it's been placed. If I look at my preview tab this is what I get. I can use my drill down menus to navigate around. If I jump up to 2004, I can see my east region has grown, my international, and my west has also grown. As you can see, modifying the existing report is actually very easy. You can choose the order of the groups down to what the groups actually are. 